hello 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 and welcome back to plans on planning here we are in my gratitude planner so let's go ahead and get started we are still ooh, look at that we're almost into june oh my goodness so we are still going oh gosh we are still going along with the theme of this week's series of planners, and that is um, basically we're calling it Lazy Days, but basically what we're doing is we're keeping it really simple in our planners. Um, you know, there are some weeks where you come along and you're just kind of on the burnt out side, but you don't want to leave your planner lacking because if you're anything like me, this is my one spot for my creative outlet, my planners. So that means I get to basically create and do whatever I want with them. But sometimes the inspiration just is not flowing and that's okay. Like sometimes my creative juices get stuck and I hit a creative block, but I don't want to leave my planners lacking. So in this one, um, over the course of the series, I've been scaling it down just a notch to show you that it's okay to, you know, keep your planner really simple and you don't have to go all out every week. And this week in my gratitude planner, I'm doing just washi. Like that's it. I'm not going washi crazy and using a bunch of different washies and going all out with the washies, like six different washies and creating washi shapes and things like that. No, I'm just keeping it simple with the washi and I will show you how. So I'm actually going to be using three different type of washi this week though um we're going to use these two as our banner washies and then this is going to be the washi that we use to frame out our days i know like i said i'm not going all out at all like this is all we're using washi and we're keeping it simple because it's okay to keep it super simple with our washi or with our weekly spreads like every week doesn't have to be like an all out week. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm basically measuring it out to see what I want to do. Like, do I want to use this one at the top or this one at the bottom? I'm kind of feeling this one for the bottom to be 100% honest. And then using this one at the top. But the only thing is. Okay. So let me add another washi to the mix to be honest. So if I put this one at the top. And then I can use, no. let's do these two at the top, which actually fit kind of perfect. And then I'm going to use this one right across the bottom. And then I'm going to use this to frame out my days. Like I said, we're keeping it simple. We're not doing a whole bunch of of stuff I know even though it kind of looks like wow like you're kind of are going washy crazy um not really all right so I'm putting this one oh I forgot to white out my dark line all right there we go I always get white out on the table. Okay, so this one is going all the way at the tippy tippy top. Bam. And I'm just using the top of the page to frame it out. Like it's been a hard week and I know we all have them and then it comes to the washi I mean it comes to our planners I'm like I just kind of don't have the energy or the creative juices to give it what it needs basically and that's truthfully okay like every week doesn't have to be a stellar week gosh darn it there we go. So I'm putting this right under it, but right above the Monday. So it overlaps 
just a tad. But not that much. There we go. So I'm going right, I'm using the Friday as my guide. Oh gosh. There we go. And I want to put my duckies on the, or these are actually swans on the bottom. Okay, I just want to make sure the line didn't really show that much. And it doesn't. And I'm just using the bottom of the page as my guide. Oy. I think I might have to use my scissors to cut it. Okay, there we go. All right, it worked out. Right, using the bottom of the page once again as my guide. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to cut. have it so this is the start of our page and it's actually super super cute and now we're just gonna frame out our days Just like that. And as simple as it is, it works and gives us exactly what we need. And it's pretty darn beautiful, to be honest. There we go. Roll this back up. And there you have it. Here is our weekly spread in my gratitude planner. And like I said, every week doesn't have to be over the top and full of stickers and washy everywhere and little blah, blah, blahs and whatnot. Sometimes this is all you need for your weekly spread. And this is one of those weeks, truthfully, and it can be for you as well. Like, I know we watch the videos to get inspiration and to get different layout types and things like that. But some days, even when you do all of that, you're just like, I don't have it in me. Like, I know it was supposed to work and I was supposed to feel all invigorated to get my planners done. 
But truthfully, you're too tired and you're too burnt out. So sometimes washi is really all that you need to get it going. Like you don't have to have a ton of stickers every week. It's 100% okay. It's your planner. You can do exactly what you want with it. So if all you want to do is washi, then all you need to do is washi. And all I wanted to do was washi this week. So that's it. Washi. I hope you guys love it and enjoy this week's series of our lazy days um, and just showing you what a really simple um, spread looks like and the various stages of simple spreads. Um, this, of course, being the simplest where we're just, just using washi. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can definitely leave a comment below. Um, you can email me if you feel more comfortable with that. Don't forget to follow me on social media and you can slide in my DMs and we can talk about absolutely positively whatever you want. I cannot, cannot, cannot wait to hear from you. But until then, happy planning.